not only are you going to have to deal with his divisiveness and, you know, the constant tweeting and the news coverage and the circus that's going to surround his presidency and make us a laughing stock in the world, but he's probably not going to deliver on a lot of those promises he's making. I'm John. I live in Ohio. I voted for Trump in 2016. Voted for Trump in 2016 because I felt he could bring a change to Washington. He promised to drain the swamp. He promised to do a lot of things that I agreed with. I think a second Trump term would be worse than the first. In the first term, he was learning his way around. And I think he was really trying to do a good job to a point, to the extent that his ego would let him. But a second term, he knows the game. And he's already indicated that he's going to go after people in a big vindictive manner. You know, anybody that's out for revenge or to use the presidency as a platform to get revenge on your enemies, your adversaries, that's that's scary. Not only are you going to have to deal with his divisiveness and, you know, the constant tweeting and the news coverage and the circus that's going to surround his presidency and make us a laughing stock in the world, but he's probably not going to deliver on a lot of those promises he's making. I'm not going to vote for Trump in November that I don't want Trump to win. And so I'll probably have to vote for Biden. And I don't think he's the best candidate that our country could produce for president. But unfortunately, those are the options that we have.